YouTube? Sierra and Matt here with DIY Dwight, and we know it's been a minute. It has definitely been a little while since our last video. We've been a little busy with our own DIY projects. And a baby DIY. So we've been a little preoccupied. This will probably be our last video for a little while. After the baby comes, we're gonna get settled in, but I'm sure you'll see more DIY projects sometime in the future. However, in the meantime, we really decided it was time for Matt and I to upgrade from a queen size bed, especially with my pregnancy pillows and everything like that, taking up so much space, to a California king. And so for our last DIY for a while, we decided to make a new headboard for our California king bed. We made our first headboard, I don't know, five, six, seven years ago. And we use those parts to recycle into this one. So we hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. All right, so first things first, of course we had to look online and find some inspiration. We both really liked this upholstered wood headboard, but it was like $500 online and it didn't even look like real wood. So of course, knowing us DIY Dwighters, we decided to try to make it ourselves and do it cheaper. And of course, we loved the idea of recycling the headboard we built together years ago and putting it into this one as well. It's honestly the reason why we had a queen size bed for so long, we just loved our headboard so much. So first we headed to Home Depot, of course, and got all of our supplies. We really only needed plywood and then a couple of cedar 4x4 posts because we already had two on the existing headboard and we had some 2x4s at home that we could use. The next step was to pick up a twin size mattress pad and some batting that we needed to cut to size on the plywood and then use spray adhesive to secure it to the plywood. Once the adhesive dried, we could bring the headboard inside to keep it clean while Matt cut pieces that would frame the plywood headboard to attach to the 4x4 posts. Matt secured the 1x3s to frame the plywood. After everything was secure, Matt and I rolled the batting out on top of the mattress pad that I glued on outside, and then we got started on lining that up so we could put our fabric on top. Once the fabric and batting were all lined up, it was time to staple it in place. The next step was to cut off all the excess fabric and then carry the headboard outside so we could scotch guard the heck out of it. All right, now that our headboard is drying outside, getting all that scotch guard to set in, it's time to take apart our old headboard. In the meantime, I had some family in town and we came inside and used this giant space bag so that we could save our previous queen mattress because it wasn't very old. This thing was incredible. We found it on Amazon. We'll link it down below. And luckily by that morning, our new mattress had arrived and we were so excited to get it rolled out on top of our new box spring and bed frame. Um, I couldn't really help, so I felt bad. It was really heavy. I can't rotate this thing. I know. So you got it now. Wow, these things are heavy. way heavier than the Casper. Well, <laughs> queen to California king. At this point, Matt and I were clearly in the home stretch and so excited. We took the two four x four posts from our previous queen size headboard and brought them in just to kind of test everything out because whenever we got ready to cut the last two four x four posts, we really needed them to be right the first time because cedar is really expensive right now. Once Matt felt confident in the 45 degree angle cuts he needed to make, we went outside in the garage and knocked those out and then started securing the whole headboard together. Once everything was set up, we used L brackets to secure the headboard to the 4x4 posts and they worked like a charm and were so easy. Now for the fun part, the only thing left to do after that was bring it inside. Because I'm eight months pregnant and this is really heavy, we actually used my longboard to roll it into the house on one side, but we got it all put into place and Matt secured it to the frame and we could not be happier. Well, everyone, that's a wrap. We really hope you enjoyed this DIY Dwight, and we hope that we made an upholstered headboard look somewhat easy. And also professional, or about as professional as we get. Now, we're about to have a baby in two months, so we'll catch you later. Um, baby's coming July 8th, so uh, leave us some things down in the comments. Hit the like button if you like this video, and subscribe for maybe some more fun videos later. All right, we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.